President Vladimir Putin departed from the Kremlin on Tuesday for the Iranian capital city of Tehran to deliberate with his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan on the issue of Ukrainian grain exports from currently blocked Black Sea ports, the Moscow Times cited AFP and Russian news agencies as reporting. The Russian Defense Ministry had indicated Friday that a final document on the subject mediated by the UN would soon be ready to release some 20 million tons of currently blocked grain exports as well as those of Russian grain and fertilizer currently held back under Western sanctions, the report added. The news of the Putin-Erdogan meeting comes a day after Josep Borrell, the high representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, expressed optimism over a deal being struck later this week to end the blockade at Ukraine's Black Sea ports, particularly Odessa. The life of thousands, more than thousands, tens of thousands of people depends on this agreement. It is not a diplomatic game. It is an issue of life or death for many. The Financial Times quoted Borrell as saying, Further east into the Russian-occupied areas of eastern Ukraine, the US-based North Korea-focused website NK News cited the remarks of Russian ambassador to North Korea, Alexander Matsegora, to report that Russia may soon employ workers from ally North Korea to help rebuild parts of Ukraine's Donbas region that were destroyed by the invasion. There are prospects for cooperation between the DPRK and the Donbas republics, and they are quite extensive. Highly qualified, hardworking, and ready to work in the most difficult conditions, builders from North Korea will be a very serious help in solving the problems of restoring social infrastructure and industrial facilities destroyed by the retreating Ukrainian Nazis, Matsegora revealed in an interview with Russian publication Izvestia. These developments follow North Korea's recognition of the Donetsk People's Republic and the Lugansk People's Republic last week. Ukraine has no right to raise issue or dispute our legitimate exercise of sovereignty after committing an act that severely lacks fairness and justice between nations by actively joining the US unjust and illegal hostile policy in the past, North Korea's foreign ministry had stated, according to The Guardian. For The Print, this is Raghav Bikchandani. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on social media.